Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing our video, and today we finally had the multiplayer reveal trailer in full. So what we're going to do in this video is break down all the weapons that were in the multiplayer reveal trailer since we saw them all in action, mainly from the first person perspective. So we'll break down the weapons. Now a lot of these are going to repeat from the actual Battlefield reveal trailer that came out on Wednesday, June 9th. So go ahead and reference that video as well if you want more information on some of these. There was also some additional weapons in that video from the trailer that we saw which we did not see in today's multiplayer reveal however we did see some new ones and we do have some actually really cool news on a weapon conversions which is definitely confirmed via the in-game footage that we saw today for the multiplayer reveal so go ahead and check out the multiplayer or excuse me the actual reveal trailer weapon review if you want to see all the weapons that we spotted in that trailer because there's some weapons in there like the pkp pechenek bullpup that we don't see in this trailer and vice versa but First off, overall impressions of the trailer itself was amazing. I thought it had a very, very good Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 vibe. Uh, very immersive. I love the radio chatter. The gameplay looks amazing. The weapon customization, the weapon plus system looks amazing where you can edit your stuff on the fly. So we'll just be discussing more of that throughout the week coming up here. But in this video, we're going to break down all the weapons. I'll leave the timestamps down below so you can skip ahead to any weapon that you're curious about. And what we'll do is we'll break it down by category. So the same as we did last time, we'll break it down by weapon category. Even though your specialist is not tied to a specific category in Battlefield 2042. So let's go ahead and we'll get right on it. And we're going to start with the assault rifles. So the first assault rifle that we see, which again we saw in the previous trailer itself. So we have the 6-hour MCX Spear. And as mentioned previously, this is the new next generation squad weapon, which is chambered in 6.8 by 51 millimeter now in game this is called the m5a3 we see a couple different shots of it here on the ground of the hourglass map in the desert as well as when the storm's rolling in we get a couple shots of the spear in the streets with what looks like an mvg optic on it it's really hard to tell from the the quick glimpse that we had it also has a vertical foregrip but again you can tell it's the mcx spear especially by the magazine and how the magazine is curved and just the overall look of the weapon it's clearly the mcx spear so good to see that one in action the gameplay and some of the optics on there look really really nice now next up we have the dd m4 v7 dd meaning daniel defense m4 v7 this is chambered in 5x6 by 45 nato and just judging by the screenshots that we have a 30 round magazine with what looks like the fast mag option on there so you can pull that quickly out of your play carrier um, although the magazine does look extended in some of the uh, images for the thumbnail or the icon on the HUD, so it may be a 45 round magazine. Again, really hard to tell since in game the counter, it's, the soldier has obviously used some of the ammunition. But the Daniel Defense M4 V7, shaped in 5x6x45 NATO, so 5x6 still does have a place in 2042, even though we have the 6.8mm rifles rolling out. Now, that brings me to our first weapon conversion here. So. Yesterday in the Battlefield 2042 reveal video, I did the weapon breakdown for that, and there was a weapon there that I thought was an SR-25 or some sort of designated marksman rifle, and a lot of people were saying it was a DDM-4 V7, which you were right, however, it's a conversion. So we see it here in the multiplayer reveal. It's actually, I'm going to guess and say it's the Daniel Defense M4 Hunter. Now this is the in the uh, chambered in the 6.8 by 51 millimeter, so this is a larger round obviously in 5.56 it's going to fill that designated marksman role similar to what we were talking about with the sr25 the other day so this is our first weapon conversion where we can change the weapon from the daniel defense m4 v7 firing 5.56 to the daniel defense m4 hunter firing 6.8 millimeter and i'm just guessing it's 6.8 millimeter it could possibly be a 7.62 by 51 conversion or maybe even a 6.5 but we'll have to wait and see. I'm assuming it's going to be the 6.8 mm Now, in game, the Dano Defense M4V7 is called the 4V9. And you can see that in both the screenshots with both calibers on the weapon. It is chambered, or excuse me, the game, in game, it's called the 4V9. No matter what caliber you have it chambered in. Now, the one that's chambered in the, or at least the Hunter version, which appears to be chambered in 6.8 you can see has a big fat sniper optic on there, which looks awesome. And it has the bipod. So it looks really cool. They look like completely different weapons uh, with the barrel. It looks like obviously barrel changes as well as the magazine caliber and the optic as well. So 
Really cool to see that. That's our first weapon conversion that's confirmed. Next up, we have the AK-12, which in-game is called the AK-24, so I guess it's 12 plus 12 is, is 24, or maybe they're saying that the AK-12 platform would be updated yet again in 2024 to adopt the name AK-24. So again, we discussed this in the other video the other day. This far in 545 by 39 millimeter. Now again, this is different from what was featured in Battlefield 4, which was the prototype version based on the AK-200 series. This AK, or at least the modern day AK here in 2021, is based off the AK-400 series. It's gone through a lot of iterations since the initial AK-12 rollout back in 2012 when it was proposed during the Ratnik trials. So this is the AK-12 as of today, 2021, fine 545 by 39 millimeter. And you can see also on the HUD, it has a 30 round magazine with one in the chamber, which is obviously something we've seen in Battlefield in the past. So we have one in the chamber for a total of 31 rounds, which is good to see that back. Next up, we have the SCAR-H, which we didn't see any first-person perspective of this in the video or in the reveal trailer stuff, but we did see it on a soldier next to uh, what was featured for the first-person point of view. So we have the SCAR-H with the the XM320 is the grenade launcher. I think it's it's the proprietary FN, so it's the FN MGL, or I cannot recall what it's called at the top of my head, but you guys will know what, exactly what I'm talking about. It's the, it's the SCAR-H version or the M203-320 version that goes with the Scar H. So, apologize, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but the Scar H is chambered in 7.62 x 51 millimeter, and again, same as the actual reveal trailer from Wednesday, it appears to be the CQC version with a 13 inch barrel. Hopefully we'll have barrel option customizations. I'm assuming we can probably convert this with different barrels to the Mark 20 SSR, and that way we can have the sniper variant of that. Even a 16 inch barrel like that would be awesome as well. So. That's the Scar H, driven in 7.62 by 51 NATO, with that FN Herstal underbarrel grenade launcher that goes with the Scar H as well. Next up for submachine guns, we have the K30, as it's called in game, which is the Chris Vector in real life. So this is obviously in real life chambered in 9mm, 9 by 19 parabellum is what it is, or 45 ACP. So I'm going to assume, because we already have conversion or confirmation of caliber conversions, that will be able to do both. And I believe on some of these weapons, you'll see here in a minute for the next one, but it seems like we'll definitely be able to convert from nine mil to 45. So I think that's a safe choice. Again, we saw this in the reveal trailer the other day. So the Chris Vector making an appearance, we see it in action and we do see some first person perspective of it being shot as well as the weapon plus system with this. So you, it looks like you can choose three attachments per slot for the optic, the barrel, the butt stock, and the magazine so i'm assuming what you'll be able to do is with all the attachments unlocked you'll be able to probably pick your top three that you can have a quick swap system with for the weapon plus in game and you'd be able to choose from that so you'd be, be basically have your favorite attachments and then you'd be able to swap from three per slot is what it seems like now next up we have the lwrc smg 45 again we saw this the other day so the in game this is called the pbx 9 now this is another confirmation of caliber conversion because on this weapon it says on the upper receiver on the left hand side it says 9mm slash 45 ACP. So again because it's called the PBX-9 which lead me to believe that the base weapon probably starts off at 9mm and as you unlock or progress through the weapon you'll be able to unlock the 45 ACP ammo conversion for this weapon. So. You can go from a 9mm SMG to the 45 ACP PDW, and you'll see that labeled on the upper upper receiver on the left-hand side in some of the shots. But this weapon looks awesome. There's a couple shots of this with the Leopold Hammer optic on it, and he's using the your operator is using the top mount of Delta Point, which just looks amazing. So I'm, I'm really pumped to use this gun, but more importantly, the Leopold Hammer is probably gonna be on almost all my weapons. Definitely one of my favorite optics. So really good to see this in game. We saw good uh, weapon play, I guess the limited weapon play we did see was with the Vector and the LWRC SMG-45. Next up for sniper rifles, this one's a tough one and I, I settled between one of two. I settled between the Barrett MRAD or the Remington MRS. So it would be, it would seem to me that this is going to be the Barrett MRAD because this was chosen over the Remington MRS in real life by the military. The MRAD is a favorite amongst the United States military in-game is called the TG-24. In real life, we have plenty of different 
calibers that this weapon can take. So I'm assuming that you can probably convert this to all sorts of different calibers. It is a bolt action sniper rifle. Again, the Barrett MRAD firing all sorts of different calibers from 762 by 51, 300, 338, Norma Magnum, 338, Lapua. Everything you can think of this thing fires. So it has much more caliber conversion options than the Remington MRS. Especially, I'm going to say it's the Barrett MRAD just because of the the uh, pattern on the magwell when the operator is reloading it in the gameplay. The pattern on the magwell matches that. Uh, the MRAD, it looks like we have M-Lock slots on the handguard as well on the left and right hand side. So it appears to be the Bear MRAD, however, it's not 100%, so it could be a mix of the Bear MRAD and the Remington MRS. They definitely would have taken some liberties as it would be 21 years in the future. So for now, we're gonna say it's the Bear MRAD and uh, we'll see what it ends up looking like where we can take a better look at it in game. Next up for LMGs. Now this is one, again, we saw the other day and this is the only LMG that we did see featured in today's multiplayer reveal, that being the Knights Armament Company LWAMG. Again, this is just the big brother of the Knights Armament Company LMAG or the, yeah, I believe it's the LAMG. So the Light Assault Machine Gun. So this is the bigger brother of that being the LWAMG. So the light assault machine gun would fire 556 by 45 NATO. This one is going to be firing 762 by 51 NATO. However, it would make sense if you had a 6.8 or even a 6.5 caliber conversion option for this weapon, since that seems to be the new caliber that the army is going towards. So in 2042, that would make sense that this may indeed fire 6.8 millimeter or perhaps even 6.5. Next up for launchers, we got a brief shot of the Carl Gustav. Again, I believe it was the Carl Gustav. It was really only in one or two frames of the gameplay trailer again today. But again, we did see that the other day in the reveal trailer for the Renazook scene. So the Carl Gustav, we've known about it. And you see this in the HUD for the, the weapon icon itself on a couple soldiers throughout the gameplay as well. So Carl Gustav making an appearance here, blowing up a helicopter. And then moving on to pistols, we have a couple different pistols here. The main one that's featured appears to be a Glock 21 because I zoomed in on this thing and it is, you can barely make it out on the lower receiver of the uh, of the Glock itself. It, it, I believe it's labeled 45 ACP. Again, I had to zoom in very far to see what I believe to make out to be 45 ACP or at least 45. So that would lead me to believe it's one of the Glocks chambered at 45 ACP. The most logical choice would be the Glock 21. Now, in game, this is labeled the G57. So, again, it could be a future iteration of the weapon itself. Maybe the Glock 57 is, I guess, what they're going for. So, it seems to be based on the Glock 21. I'm assuming also we'll have different caliber conversions for this to probably convert it to the Glock 18C as well with 9x19. Next up, we see the 44 Magnum not making an appearance for the first person perspective, but we did see it in the HUD for the weapon icons as a secondary for multiple soldiers. So the 44 Magnum making an appearance again here in Battlefield 2042. We've seen this one back in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, even the Bad Company series, and probably back to Battlefield 2, if I remember correctly. The next pistol we see is the Stim Pistol. So we saw a brief shot of this. This is something that we know that the Specialist Maria carries. Um, probably some other Specialists as well would be carrying this, but we see it briefly in action just reloading. Again, it looks pretty cool. It will heal your, your downed teammates as well as inflict damage when shot at enemies. And those are all of the weapons that we saw today in the multiplayer reveal trailer. Let me know down below if you think I missed anything throughout the gameplay, if I maybe got anything wrong. But again, I think we got everything here. Pretty comprehensive list, and it's really good to know that caliber conversions are back. We saw a lot of different optics here, so we'll have a lot of fun with the weapon conversions here as well. Just going from the the Vector 9mm to the 45, same with the LWRC. Especially the biggest one I'm really excited about is the DDM-4 V7 being able to be converted to a DMR rifle, which appears to be chambered in the 6.8. So that'll be really fun to uh, play with. I'm assuming this is gonna be the case with a lot of the weapons. So we should have a really good time uh, continuing some of the weapon conversion series and really just nerding out with some of the weapons. So let me know down below what you guys think. These are all of the weapons found today in the multiplayer reveal trailer for Battlefield 2042. Let me know which one's your favorite down below. Let me know what weapons you wanna see. I will be doing a wish list for weapons that I would like to see in this game as well as weapons that I believe we will see in this game whether they're additional weapons or weapons to make via caliber conversion. So let me know down below. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming, out.